Hey everyone, welcome back to another new exciting video. Tanstack just released another new AI feature, which is the Tanstack AI Alpha, and it has these many features. So basically, it is same as the AI SDK. So previously, also there were some SDK from OpenAI, Gemini, Anthropic, and also there is a virtual SDK. But there were some problems that uh, many people already uh, written that virtual AI SDK. Uh, is supporting only Next.js, not the other frameworks. And also in case of OpenAI, uh, there was some issue like uh, they are supporting only their own model, not the other provider model. So that kind of issues were there over the internet we have seen. But Tanstack actually have resolved that issue and also it has added some of the extra features. Like the first one is the framework agnostic. That means it can work with any framework. So currently some of the frameworks that they have mentioned like JavaScript, Python, PHP and uh, this React uh, Solid and Vanilla JavaScript, these are supported. But later they will add many other frameworks. And also it is provider agnostic. Provider agnostic means any kind of provider it supports. Like it can be OpenAI, it can be Anthropic, it can be Gemini or Olama. These are currently supported, but here you see that they have written this plus plus. That means they will later add other providers also. Okay, but currently these are the popular providers for coding purpose as 10 stack is basically for the coding. And uh, many of you already know that uh, we use the 10 stack for the uh, React query purpose. Okay, so for fetching the data and all of that things, that is a different things and uh, we, we have already talked about that 10 stack query in other videos. So you can watch that video also. Now here you see that type shape. That means it supports the TypeScript and isomorphic tools. That means uh, it supports the client and uh, server tools. Here you see that if you go to their official documentation, they have these server tools and client tools feature. So that means if you are uh, doing any query, like um, what is the weather today okay and in that case if it needs to go to the server uh, to your database then it will automatically do that Mean, means it will automatically understand that that um, if tool has server execute or not if it requires a server server, um, execute, server tool call then it will do that it will face the data from the database Otherwise, it will call the uh, client tool and client tool uh, can be like uh, local storage access or it can be third party API call blah blah blah. Okay, so this is the client and server tools and which is called this isomorphic tools and also it has the dev tools and open protocol. So basically this is their uh, page and uh, they have written these things. So let me read these things so that you get the idea. And I am also uh, just exploring this 10 stack AI with you guys. And uh, let's see that how can be familiar with a new framework uh, when it comes into the market. Okay, new things. So the 10 stack team is excited to announce the alpha series of 10 stack AI, a framework agnostic AI toolkit built for developers who wants control over that uh, stack. Let's be honest, the current AI landscape has a problem. You pick a framework, let's say Next.js or React, you pick a cloud provider, it can be um, Cloud or Olama or Gemini or OpenAI. Suddenly, you are locked into the ecosystem that dictates now you build. You think that is backwards. I mean, suddenly you found that, um, that your framework doesn't support um some uh, some some other providers okay or let's say you have chosen the open ai provider and you want to use the gemini and uh, that open ai sdk uh, doesn't support uh, that um, gemini okay so in that case you will get locked into the system that you are bound to use that uh, open ai model only with the open ai sdk so that is a problem and tanstack ai actually uh, solving that problem so they takes a different approach. We are building the Switzerland of AI tooling, an honest open source set of libraries uh, uh, that works with your existing stack instead of replacing it. Okay. 
so whatever the stack uh, stack you are using it it will work with that and uh, server support across multiple languages we are shipping with javascript and typescript php python support out of the gate and all three three support full agentic flows with tools and python and php have not yet been released to the appropriate package system as i have already mentioned that uh, it is currently in the alpha stage so they are experimenting it they have just released it for the public review uh, then uh, later they will publish it for the beta so for that we have to wait because um, a new things is coming and we have to also play with it we have to give the feedback so then only uh, it will understand I mean Tanstack will understand the how people are actually accepting the new things so these are the things and uh, if you go to their uh, their blocks okay so here you see that this is the link that i have given in description go there you will find this tan stack ai so if you click on it you will find this kind of page tan stack ai a powerful open source ai sdk with um, unified interface across multiple providers right and um, so this is the diagram uh, you see that uh, tan stack ai client this is the ai client and after that is a tan stack ai provider it can be open ai olama or anthropy anything and uh, here you see that we have this uh, framework it can be react or solid or vanilla uh, javascript or typescript and um, this is the backend like php or python or typescript right now after that uh, let me go to this docs so explore some of the docs these are the key features like type save uh, streaming uh, building uh, streaming support for real time responses this is too good man and um, framework agnostic multiple provider approval flow, flow. Uh, so built in support for tool approval workflows this is required automatic execution also approval flow is also there and automatic execution also there okay both server and client tools execute automatically uh, according to the requirement and uh, okay okay so here you see express next js uh, 10 stack start okay so this is the code that they have provided that define a tool and create a server implementation and using ai chat so on the left hand side i think they have discussed about this tool yes so go to this tool and here you see that this is the things tool definition they have used this jot and uh, for the validation and after that define the tool schema this is a one tool a get weather okay so this is one tool which is the um, uh, i think client tool and this is the server implementation okay so you are calling that okay good okay this is a server site server implementation is here okay await fetch and this is the things client side with type safety so normal react code okay nothing fancy you just have to import this kind of things like tan stack ai client and tan stack ai react and after that this is the code so course coding structure is fully um, understandable and here you see that uh, you are calling it like chat and the tools you are providing here how do you see that add to cardiff this is a client tool and this is the server tool so you can mention both server tool and client tool and uh, it will automatically understand that and this is the agentic cycle uh, agentic cycle means here you see uh, here is the user let me open the marker that is the user and user sends a message that what what is the weather in SA van LA. So LM, LLM analyzes the request and after that it sends the messages um, to the server and after that it understands that does the task need tools. If it needs tools then call the appropriate tool and uh, then it uh, understands that what where does the tool execute. It requires a server side tool or the client side tool if it requires a client side tool then it will call that client side otherwise it will uh, call that uh, server side tool 
so this is the proper agentic workflow that they have mentioned this is a code example also uh, so what i'm thinking that i will make a separate video on this because this will take a lot of time uh, to make us a separate video on that a almost one hour uh, means 30 minutes to one hour video is it required to understand how this 10 stack ai will actually works inside your code so if you are interested to learn it please make sure you comment down below i will surely make a separate video also i am very excited to make it okay so i think this video is helpful for you guys and if you got to know many things from this video and if you want to get this type of videos more daily don't forget to subscribe this channel don't forget to like this video also see you guys in the next video thanks for watching bye bye take care